Joining us now is Vinnie Lingham, the CEO of Yola.com. Now, how's this for a South African success story? Yola has created a software application that allows individuals and businesses to create their own websites simply and cost-effectively and without having to write code. Two years ago, the company had 10,000 users. That figure now stands at just under 3 million and growing. CEO and founder Vinnie Lingham is back in the country for a fleeting visit from his new base in San Francisco. Vinnie, thank you very much for your time this evening. Let's kick off with the Yola story, enlighten the viewers watching this evening, and I'm sure entrepreneurs out there are going to get a big kick from your success story. Well, great. Thank you very much, Naomi. Um, so Yola really is a web-based application, which effectively means that um, there's no installation required on the desktop, and we've built a tool that's really easy to use. So anybody uh, from a small business owner to a student can use it, Yola to build their own website. Uh, we provide hosting and bandwidth for free. Uh, a lot of that's done obviously under the US bandwidth costs of low enough there to support that sort of business model. And uh, we, we're just basically trying to bring websites to the mass market. Bandwidth costs you mentioned are low enough in the US to support the model. Is that why you've moved your base from South Africa to San Francisco? Um, that's one of the reasons. I think there are many reasons for that. I think um, when you look at the cost of hosting sites in, in um, some of the emerging markets, it's very costly. Uh, Yola has taken off worldwide in countries like Brazil, we're very popular, where bandwidth is also very expensive. Um, I think being in San Francisco, is, it's, the, it's the Silicon Valley, it's um, the hub of um, technology. So being there helps with the partnership deals. For example, we've done a deal with HP recently and being close by does help to close those deals too. What does it cost to use your application to build a, web a website? So the basic product is free. So the tool, the software application itself to build a website, there's no cost to that and there's no cost to hosting the site. Uh, we do charge for domain names. So if you want your own, you know, your own business name dot com, uh, that comes with a um, $20 a year charge. Uh, we also have a premium package where you can upgrade for more features in our tools, um, and that's forty nine ninety five a year in, in US dollars. So very cost effective, very cheap. Um, it's really revolutionizing the way software is sold, not over the counter, not on discs, not on CDs, but direct to consumers through a web browser. When we were chatting offline, you alluded to an interesting point in that. Uh, you're being backed uh, by Johan Rupert and Renex. Uh, 25 million rand they've put into this venture. Uh, 25 million dollars investment into, yeah, it's uh, into Yola.com. Um, yeah, we, we basically built the business uh, with them as our venture capital backer. 25 million dollars, I correct myself. Andrew, what do you make of this story? Um, well, for me, I'm, I've got to be the world's worst coder, so this is just a fantastic idea. Are there any limits in terms of the content that, that you have on, on the sites? So we obviously stay away from uh, uh, content that's you know, uh, illegal in that sort of thing, so we make sure the content is restricted, uh, so it's very clean content. Yep. Um, but we focus on the small business audience, small business market, mm -hmm. and um, so therefore it's really focused around and non-profits and students. That's really our, our what we're trying to do. I think we're doing it. We've done a deal with. Um, we're working with uh, some of the educational institutions around the world to bring right. Yola into schools and help teach people how to build their websites the moment they want to start a business. And really encouraging entrepreneurship straight out of the bat. Okay. Vinny, how do you turn this into profit? Well, I mean, we're already we're already charging users for. Um, think of it as a subscription-based model, like an annuity income mm -hmm. business. Once you have a domain name and you have your email and your website running a domain, you're paying between twenty and eighty dollars a year. Yeah. Uh, when you get to a certain level of scale, call it a million users. That's you know, let's just look at an example of a million users paying us fifty dollars a year. That's fifty million dollars a year in annuity income on a product that's supported by a very small team. Because once the code is written, you don't have to. You know, we're not distributing boxes. It's yeah. the, the cost of resale is very low. So when you get to a certain level of scale, it becomes sort of like an annuity income. Um, yeah. like life how insurance. many people are paying you now, just out, out of the three million? We're a private company. We, we, we don't disclose that for okay. very many reasons. Um, but I can say that we work very hard on business metrics. So we know that a certain percentage of free users convert to paid. And that percentage grows over time as we get better at converting them. So it's definitely a, a long-term business play. But you know, when, you, when you work out the numbers, uh, it's a very significant business once you get to scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's why Renet is, is there. It's a private equity venture capital company that's going to go into ventures like this and you know hopefully they're going to pay off and certainly you know, Johan's done so many of these he's got great skill in selecting them but that's what Renette is there for. So that's definitely a thumbs up that she's been selected by Johan Rupert and his team. 
elaborate on the project in the Western Cape, what you're doing there. There's some very interesting developments on the silicon front. So we, we basically launched a Silicon Cape initiative uh, in the Western Cape. Um, th this is a project which is really a community-driven um, project. We're trying to turn Cape Town and, and the Western Cape region into a technology hub, a cluster, where we think businesses like Yolo can be born and thrown. Um, particularly building foreign income based businesses, I mean exporting technology, it's all done by the web now. So there's no need to have a physical presence in, in a country. For example, Brazil is a good example of YOLO. YOLO is very popular in Brazil. We have no people on the ground, we don't ship any software there, no disks being cut or anything, so, but we have a strong presence. And um, this is something which can be replicated. You can build great software out of Cape Town, out of Western Cape, even the rest of South Africa. There's, there's strong engineering talent from Johannesburg, Durban, the rest of the country. But, so, but we, we're trying to create a cluster there for venture capital to invest in, in companies there and build these businesses. And if you can build enough of these subscription income type businesses, you know, a simple business of 10 people could earn having 10,000 users paying 20 bucks, $20 significant uh, significantly profitable business for a small company and, and that's the sort of model we're trying to push in and we're trying to replicate some of the things that have been done in Silicon Valley to make these companies successful. So watch this space, YOLA.com, 3 million users and growing. Vinnie Lingham, thank you very much for joining us. That was Vinnie Lingham, he's the CEO of YOLA.com. Now the Saki Business Confidence Index for September was released today.